All right, who's in charge of this? <laughs> Jack, go ahead. Uh, I guess the place to start is just you know reaction to two seed and, and who you're playing. Two seed in the West. Um, yeah, I, I say this too all the time. These guys I've got three guys sitting next to me went to the final four. Give them a mic. Three guys sitting next to me went to the final four as an 11 seed. So we're we're, we're well aware that it's only a number. Um, now for our players playing, uh, you know, the majority of our team is from the West Coast. So for our players and their families, it's a, you know it's a special time in their life. So obviously, you know, we're happy that the, their, their families are going to be able to get get to games. That's how I look at it. You know, do you know anything about UNC Asheville? Uh, no, they've won, what is it, uh, they won 18 out of 19, I just saw. Uh, but I haven't had a chance. I didn't see, you know, I try to watch all those championship games, but I didn't get to see theirs. I saw a couple of them, but I, I, I did not get to see their their championship final. Coach, how big is it staying in the same, staying in the same time zone? Uh, you know me, uh, I, you know, if we were ever going to use excuses, we'd have brought them up last night. So, you know, but Coach Allen tells us it, 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 it's a good thing. But look, you, you know, it's 40 minutes on the clock. You got to find a way to win. So I don't know. I think all that stuff's better for you guys. I still think we should be North Carolina in a different time zone. Jaime, what's your reaction to the Excited, we get to play. Uh, we listen to what Coach Holland said. Try to get in the West, and we're excited that we got in the West and get to play in Sacramento. Where's Gabriel? Did they come out yet? The women? Yeah, they going on right yeah, now? Like, Tonight at six. Oh. What was just kind of the reaction in the room when when you guys found out? Were you excited? Uh, you know, you can go to Sacramento, Vegas. A lot of family can come. We're all here. Um, we, we were excited to stay on the West. Uh, we were very happy you know, out on the uh, patio. You know, it's very special for uh, for our, us and our families to uh, get out and come see us in Sacramento. So we were obviously happy. Tiger was a little different this time when you kind of knew you were going to get seated rather than waiting for the announcement that waiting to see if you would make it like at the end of Selection Sunday? Oh yeah, sure. I mean, I, I feel like we talked about it a little bit uh, when we were watching the Selection show, but of course, uh, the first year when we got picked to the first four game, we were literally the last um, team to pop up on the screen. So, you know, it was good this time to know that we had kind of instilled ourselves when we knew we were going dancing this year. So, yeah, it was good. You guys are playing really well right now, no matter who's out there for you. How do, how do you feel about that going to the tournament? Does that give you a good feeling going to the tournament or going to answer? Um, it, it's a good feeling, you know, to, um, to be playing, at, to have a big push uh, this late in the season. So what we have to do is we have to keep growing. Uh, we have to teach, we have a lot of freshmen that have never experienced, uh, never been in the tournament. We have a lot of guys like myself and the guys who are next to me have been, in, been there, done that. So we just have to uh, help them grow and uh, pick up the slack uh, with our team. Which assistant will get the scout for this one? Yeah, uh, th those guys will meet over that. They're, they're all like they're all head coaches. There's a lot of jobs open. Um, our man, Coach Lewis, got one last year, so you know, uh, hopefully one of those guys gets an opportunity this year, if not two. So. Yeah, I mean they're all they're all great. So we'll, we'll break. There's three teams in our. We look at it like a, it's a four team tournament. We got to win two games, so they'll break them up, and we'll go from there. Have the three of you talked about that this is your senior year and last chance together to really make some noise in the tournament? Do you talk about it, or you just it's kind of unsaid between the three of you? Um, no, I, I, we've talked about it. Um, I think we've acknowledged it. I know uh, us three have had a lot of conversations about this being our last year together and just embracing it. Um, this is a, one final chance to make something happen. Um, our backs are against the wall right now, we feel like, but we're, we're embracing it. We're, we, we will take everything that comes with it. How much does that loss last night, how much does that, can you use that as motivation for, for tournament now? Um, I think we 
we're just gonna learn from it. Um, it's a new season. <laughs> we gotta we gotta have a short memory. We can't we can't dwell on on any loss because um, right now it's a one and out tournament. When you lose, you're done. So we gotta have a short memory, get better, uh, figure out things we need to do with the film, and, and go from there. Just want to get uh, Dave and Tiger's perspective on that uh, question about the kind of the last dance together for you guys in the tournament. Uh, and, you know, what the, the opportunity you have to do something special together? Well, uh, we kind of just, of course, you know, we think about it, but we kind of just try to listen to coach and just, um, you know, it's one game at a time. And, uh, you know, all we're thinking about right now is UNC Asheville and um, just trying to figure out how we can get a win and, you know, it's a new season, like Jaime said, and you know we're ready. Um, I feel like my, the, it's the last chance playing with these guys. I feel like there's a level of urgency that uh, we that we play with, knowing it's our it's our last time. So we know that um, we can't take anything for granted. We have to put up a hundred percent effort uh, throughout every every game of this tournament, starting with uh, UNC Asheville. Coach, how's a den? Physically, how's his uh, spirits too? His spirits are all. These guys are saying, man, this guy, I mean, this guy's in a good mood at all times. That's what I was thinking. Is was I mean, a time he was in a bad mood. He'd be a guy. I mean, if we had to go to war and we got captured, he'd be a guy in a good mood in prison camp. Like this dude's unbelievable. His, his attitude's it's unbelievable. And these guys like you. They'll, they'll tell you. So, but he, he's uh, he's not nearly as sore today as he was yesterday. So. Um, you know, I, I, after seeing him today, I'm much, much more optimistic. He was much more pain-free today, so that's exciting. Um, you know, just knowing him, um, how he is, I, I know, you know it would take a lot to keep him off the floor. But I, I'll tell you, from you know, I think about this their third last dance. <laughs> Trust me, that's why I knew we better have a great year this year. You know, when you, you when you got older players. Um, you know, that they, they, they understand how to win games. They just know, you know, like you, you could look at the game last night and you can say, you know, if you analyze the last two minutes, okay, you know, uh, Tiger got, you know, they worked the ball, Tiger got a wide open three. They worked the ball, uh, Tiger saw the mismatch, got high man ball at the elbow, got a wide open jump shot. You know, um, Tiger knew to draw the foul when we were down two. Like he knew, he knows to do that. He was, he knew exactly what he was doing. When he, he drew the foul on Omar Bala, and he knew I got a big guy on me. I'm gonna drive it and get a hand check. You can ask him. I we even I know that he knew that. You know that's why I was putting the ball in his hands. He's, he, you know, he, I, he, he's not gonna like you watch other teams play. And they, like, I just watched the game. That, you know, teams got five seconds left and they take a bad three. You know, like they, there's no way he's gonna do that. He's going to go get fouled, you know, um, or create a wide open shot for somebody. So it's just, you know, it's an advantage. And when you know it, as a, when you coach as long as 20 years as for me as a head coach, um, you just know, you know, when you don't like, you got guys that know how to win. You know, it's so crucial. We didn't win, but everything they did, and even the last play, Jaime pushing the ball and finding a wide open shooter instead of keeping the ball. And having three, and would end up with three guys on him. So they made the right play every play down the stretch, which is why we've won so. You know, it's why we have more wins than anybody in the Power Five and the, and the Big East with 29 wins. Because so I know it. I'm well aware of this. You know, it's this. You know, the last dance for these guys together. But we are going to file a petition as soon as the season's over for Dave to come back. How much do you like the way they're playing? Just no matter who's on the floor. Um, well, we try to create that, man. I, I, you know, um, we try to create a no excuses culture. Um, I try to teach them that about their life too. Um, you know that there's that if you have the toughness and the willingness to put in the work, uh, you can get where you want to go. And then you know there's a way to win a game. There's always a way to win a game, no matter you know. Jalen Clark's out, the Dems out, you know, God forbid somebody else. There's always a way to win a game. Okay, you just got now, it's not, it may not be as easy. Your margin for error may not be as great. Okay, but there's still a way to win the game if you're willing to be tough enough to do it. Um, and these guys are. 
because they want to win. That's what they're about. Can you say anything about Jalen's availability for the tournament? Uh, he's out. He's out. For, for the whole, whole time. All, right, I'm, all I'm going to say is he's out. Okay. How unique, how special is it that you have these three guys here that you can trust on the court? That they're not surprising you or disappointing you. That they're doing the thing, like what you said, yeah. play after play, they're doing the right thing. Yeah. It's, well, you know, there's training that goes into that. Experience goes into that. You know. Um, but they've been doing it for a while. Even if you look at our first year together, right? We won 11 of our last 14. So it really only took us to middle of January to get on how to win. And I remember back then talking to these guys after a film session. We lost at Arizona State, and then we won seven straight. And then Matthews hit the shot on us. So we all, you know, and I said, we're not losing anymore. And here, here's why we're losing. He talked about turning the ball over. Um, and I said, you know, I won eight in a row. I told, I remember telling Tiger, and you know, when they stayed after, I said, guys, I won eight. I know you want to win, but I'm telling you, I know how to win. You got to believe me, okay? You can't win on the road if you turn the ball over. We turned it over at Arizona State profusely, and we got beat pretty decent. And I told him about we won eight in a row in the old Big East, best league ever, uh, on the road. And there was a formula on how to do this. And they, you know, they wanted to win, so they were willing to, to do what it took to become winners. You know, they. My thing with the, you know, when you play here, um, you you play for the probably the most important. You wear the most important jersey in the history of college basketball. No, no, you know, you're not going to put on a jersey that means any more in college basketball so than it does here. And they know that. They appreciate that. So there's no sense, you know, they appreciate being here. There's no, these guys have no sense of entitlement. And I know um, with them gone that uh, making sure the guys that, that, that replace them and the younger guys, that, that that's the key to continue their success. That is 100% the key. So I know I got my work cut out for me when they're gone. So it's the long answer to, uh, you know, I, I think about it. Because I know what I'm going to have to re It's not just their, their talents. Their talent, you know, there's guys that are talented all over college basketball. But their team doesn't have the most wins of any high made, you know, at power 16. I know why we have them. So um, we're excited to get back, you know, get uh, we still got to get some rest. So, because we play Thursday, we're gonna play Friday. So we got to get mental, emotional rest, and get our make sure our gas tank's ready to go um, on Thursday. That's our most important thing. For the players, you've all three been to a Final Four. What's the mindset you have to have going into the NCAA tournament to have a, a good run like that? Um, I think it's been the formula of success for our four years together, just one game at a time. Don't look ahead. Focus on the team that you got to play. Um, and it's really just that simple, one game at a time. What um, their role on bringing along the freshmen, the, the, the veterans' role, and because they, there's improved so much of them, Amari and the other guys. Uh, how much have these three here contributed to the freshmen's growth to where they are? How much these guys have? Yeah. Oh, I've told them from day one, like, you guys got to understand something. They're in a new role. You know, we lost, and people fail to realize, we lost Jules, Johnny, Peyton, Miles, and Cody. Um, so they always had a, older guys on the team than that. That um, how they were going to be in a much more of a leadership role, not just shooting the ball, but, you know, leading our team. And they had never played with young guys. Peyton was the only young guy they played with. And, and we were going to have two starters that are freshmen. And, you know, we against Oregon, we played nine guys. Six of them were freshmen. And one by 20. So, you know, uh, these guys had to lead them. You know, so we talked about that all year. But, you know, it, it, it wasn't going to be hard. I just had to remind They just weren't the older guy. They, they really, even though they were juniors last year, they were still seniors on the team and older guys on the team than them. So that was, you know, we talked about it early. And they've done a great job of it. A great job of it with our freshmen. Thank you. Thank you.